Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play FTL with me, Get Daved. This is the advanced edition of FTL as well. So, in the last video, well we got hit by a lot of missiles, that's for sure. And this one, I'm getting into the back half of the trek, so that's good. A reasonably effective ship, except in that last fight. And we can poke around a little bit before we go to the exit. Not by a ton, but we should get both jumps. Oh, goodness. Please, we'll give you all we have if you save us. <laughs> or we could let them kill each other. Uh, okay, I'll accept your bribe. Take my chances with the Mantis. Alright. There's a rumble in the weapons room, that's fine with me. They don't have... oh, they do have a cloning bay. Okay, I've got my plan. This might take so long as to become impractical. Hadman's ready to go. Ion bombs, that's totally fine with me. Alright. Yeah, the bloody cloning bay just came. Brought one of their guys back. I think we have enough people to fight off the one mantis. We can board with everybody else. And if not, I'm totally going to regret that decision. Nope. You do not repair that cloning bay. They're probably going to repair the cloning bay. Opportunity to kill the NG, that's the most important thing. Alright, we took a bit too much damage because they successfully cloned. I didn't like that one bit. But I think. I wonder if we can even finish them off just with small weapons fire. Almost. He's busy putting out fires, at least. Oh, goodness. No, I don't think you're going to repair your ship right now. it's going to explode in flames. Uh, very carefully. Okay, success. If their cloning bay had been active, even though I killed everybody, we would not have uh, been officially the winner of that fight, because the clones all would have been queued up, and as long as that cloning bay was remotely functional, they would have been able to recreate their entire crew. <laughs> Finish them off. All right, slam dunk, everybody. <laughs> we found a way to get double the reward. And no one got hurt. If we dawdle, we'll get attacked. I'm going to dawdle so you can see what happens when I get attacked, because this is a let's play. Oh no. We should be okay. 
There's no oxygen, but aside from that, we should be okay. <laughs> I like that he went and manned one of my stations. Thanks, guy. We're all gonna just wait for you in here. people to heal. I'm not exactly sure how it all happened. What matters is everybody's feeling good again, and we got out of an ion storm and made a ton of money. Okay, I guess I'll uh, jump to the rebel fleet now. No regrets here. see what happens, shall we? They have a cloning bay. I think it would be impractical to go after them with the transporter. But with all of our guns, that's okay. Okay, so there's little explosions behind and that ASB danger. That's like the rest of the Rebel fleet. Sometimes they have a lock. Oh goodness. They are absolutely bristling with weapons. Okay. So, <laughs> bad things are happening, don't worry about it. ASB target locked, don't worry about what that means. That means nothing. Nothing bad's gonna happen. That may have caused that. Please shoot it down. Okay, thank goodness. Intruders detected. Wait. Let them come to me. Okay, so we could stick around longer, but I think I've given enough of a demonstration of how terrible these are. And I'll take the civilian sector. I earned a civilian sector after that. send the Lanius to go repair that. They are perfect for this exact sort of situation. He doesn't mind that he's fixing a hole in the hull. And once that starts filling up with a yellow gauge, we'll just redistribute everybody and they'll fix it on their own. Aside from the fact that I forgot there was no oxygen in the room yet. Just because he leaves doesn't mean there's a hair. Well, I'm glad I had that gaff in a sector without the enemy. If we can make it to this nebula, that'll slow down the rebel fleet a lot. It's not a nebula sector, so we get the full benefit. Our first NG ship of the run. Sure. They didn't even ask for fuel. Okay, let's try cycling through the entire nebula first. 
We'll be able to shortcut by one in a worst case scenario. Okay. We're gonna adjust our configuration here. I'm gonna prepare to board with Alanius. Just in case. We're gonna have to be sure not to blow up the ship while he's on board. Um, it does not have a ton of HP. Let's just see if this works. It won't because it was cloaked this whole time. I'm going for it. And if we fail, we only lose him. Doesn't play well with others. Come on, take it offline. Nowhere to shoot when he recloaks. Oh well. I think he's done enough. Without their ability to evade attacks and not much weaponry, <laughs> as it damages the cockpit. Well, eat it. itself repaired its own cockpit. Make sure to fire everything together. Not out of the woods yet. There we go. And fuel everybody, good news. The rewards are starting to get nice and meaningful as well. I'll take it. You'll note that since they've added the ability to man the sensors and the door system, you've got the possibility of getting your sensors and door system up to level 4 before they maxed at 3. You can still only upgrade them 3 levels, but if you upgrade it to the max and man it, it gives you level 4. So the doors just become super, super strong. The sensors give you tons of information. We'll deal with that in a minute. Okay. Ooh. A firebomb. Fire chance high, crew damage 30. I've never... I've used a firebomb like one or two times, but I've never really gotten into it. We've got to get to a store and sell our stuff. and fix our ship. I'm gonna go for the better deal again. Uh, I'll go for the flat gun this time. This is a new gun, we've been shot with it once already. But flat guns are kind of tool, or kind of cool. Uh, you can't really aim it, it aims inside like a probability cloud, because you are just hurling crap at it. Just random flak. But it might be a... You know, we might be able to get something pretty cool here with the burst lasers. I'll try at least having the firebomb on, so I can fire it off once, just so you can see it in action. Um, I 
send everyone around for repairs real quick while we're at a quiet sector. I'll take this one charged into the next fight as well. We'll take them all charged into the next fight. Yeah, Nebula's slowed them down quite a bit, so I'm feeling great about going through it. More missiles for fuel. Nope. I'd make the reverse trade, though. Always end up having too many missiles. Um, this one's armed pretty heavily. I think I'm going to go for the Lanius boarding strategy again. Especially with their cloaking device. I'm not going to be able to destroy it in one uh, event. But the good news is we have stealth weapons. We'll see if he can get one bit of damage in on it. You have like one second to do it. Okay, five. All right. No, the engine's more important. Okay, one, two, three. Yes, it would have been better if we went after the cockpit with him. I wanted to get him nice and far from the flat gun, though, because they... They can be dangerous. Which is good. That's what you want in a weapon. Three, six, eight. One, two. Alright, there's an outside possibility we could destroy the ship here, so we're going to be a little on the careful side. Yeah, this is safe. Just making sure I didn't pick a terrible time to move the pilot out of the cockpit. Yay, fuel. And the money. Oh, goodness. Whenever you have people just board your ship. It always sucks because there's no way you're going to make money. The only thing that can happen is people die. Alright, good work, gang. The store appeared. Fantastic. All this money saving, although I did spend a decent amount, it's paying off. That's actually a pretty pricey upgrade. It was worth 30. I'll take it. They didn't shoot at me. Alright, we'll try extending our visit to the store just by one here. Hmm. 
Well, I'm definitely attacking you because you can usually get a free one that way. Cloning bay and not much else. Well, before we can do anything, we'll have to get through your shield. And they apparently have pretty good evade. They have the ability to stun people with that weapon. Yeah. Alright, weapon charged. I think I am going to try to take the cloning bay offline, because we should be able to kill them just with these two guys. A mantis should take a rock person out in a fight, and a human can definitely take a, uh, an NG. Perfect. Let him put the fire out. And we've got the matchup we want, even. No! Not like this! The mind control ability is so pesky. We're almost in trouble. Alright. So we gained an NG. Good pilot, good engineer, good gunner, good shield master. Shield maestro. Oh. We already have... You know what, Markle? You've, you've served us well. The journey is perilous. I'm going to send you on your merry way so that you might live. Doesn't matter how well things have gone, I still don't like our chances. And I don't want to hear any grumbles in the comment section, I just saved Markle's life. Alright. Ship's looking pretty good. Crew is, you know, reasonable. Scrap reserves are good. Let's jump to the store and see what we can do for ourselves. Oh man, we should totally rob them. Tempting. Prevents enemy defense drones from targeting anything. Ooh, that could be uh, that could be useful in the right situation. However, man, used against us, that would be devastating. <laughs> Can you imagine if the rebel flagship had that? This automated reloader is tempting. None of you are. Backup battery is kind of tempting. Um, I guess I'll get it just to show it off. And automated reloader, why not? And we have some crap to sell. Stealth weapons, will not be using them. Most certainly. Uh, I don't like any of the hull weapons because I do highly value uh, doing damage to systems. We'll go with that. And now... A 
So what you can do with the battery is we can just hit the button and we have two emergency power which we can devote towards anything we want. But it's only there for 30 seconds. Once that power is used up, it's got a regular cooldown just like everything else. Um, ship upgrades. I'm feeling pretty good. What I'm going to do is just rearrange the weapons real quick, just so I remember to show off the firebomb in the next video. Uh, I can't think of how I want to spend this money, or this scrap, so I'm not going to, at least for this video. In the next one, maybe I'll have an idea, but I'm, I'm still willing to hold out just in case we come across a, a weapon that I'm really, really into. So, on that note, I'll see you all in the next video.